So what we're going to be learning about is like, we're going to be learning more and more about like random fractions to the nearest fraction. So let's so let's round. Make sure you guys have to be is writing this. Well, if, if you have a paper handy, then it makes sense to, you. or you can do it right in your whatever device you use. If you have like an app like this. So we're going to do three thirds rounded to the reason why I'm using these squiggly lines as you can see over her. That means to like a bait. A like a bait. Three thirds is a bait. So we're going to use that with a number line. I don't know if you guys have done this these um with the number problem with the number line, but they are very 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 helpful. I'm gonna use the tape or to show that it this the num the, um end point the end point never stops. I mean, like, the end point is not like the end number of the entire numbers. Isn't that try right? But for this problem, we're just going to need zero thirds to, let's say, six thirds. Six thirds. I know that doesn't really look like that, but please try to at least recognize it. Six. No. Six thirds is rounded to what? So we're going to apply three thirds. But, but actually, let's change this to. Thirds. So what's half of six thirds? Also named as six. Three, right? So three thirds. Thirds, it's better. And then we're going to show what more two thirds. Tell me when to stop. Yes, if you set it over here. Then that is correct. That this is tethers. Actually, this is incorrect. Sorry, they thought. Not really good at plotting on the screen. I'm going to put it over here. Why is it closer to three thirds? But you would have had just said, Oizai. It is closer to three thirds. Uh oh, it is not tray. We cannot rain to the middle point. To the middle point. We cannot rain to the middle point of the number line. That is just there to help you. So where do you think three thirds is, is should be rounded to? It should be one of these endpoints. These, this one, or this one. If you said zero thirds, then you are correct because if I get to two thirds, that would be like four thirds away, right? 
Uh, but over here, from zero thirds to two thirds, it takes only two thirds. I know that's not so clear. It says two thirds. So, but we need to remember the ones that is closer, not to the farthest. So, zero thirds is, is two thirds is a bank, zero thirds. Let's move on to the next one. I'll see you in like a second. Don't worry. Think I erased everything. You guys can tell. I say we're going to round the right dads. Well, that's what we're going to find it. Everybody, draw a number line. Equally. So, zero, that's... Okay, well, let's see what's greater than three thirds. Let's do six thirds. Hey, why is this always a whole bunch? Hey, what? Okay, it's two six thirds. Six thirds. Hey, what? Hey, 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 what? This is getting really hard. I'm gonna hold on to this. Sorry, that's actually says the right six dads. I think I should just type it. Six thirds. Okay, that's better, right? And remember, the slash line is also named as a front, as dosh, like this one. So on top of six thirds, three thirds, right? So we're going to type that on. Well, I'm going to type that on. Three thirds. Three thirds. And what? But but three thirds is actually the half. So whenever this always happens, you read. To, to like the end point, the, the upper end point, which is this. So I can say three thirds is about six thirds. Let's move on to the next problem. Okay, so when I do, let's do, give some problems, so let's do, I want you guys to write one, two, three, four, four. I'm on, hey, so I want you guys to write three fifths is rounded to. I know the square doesn't have that about to sign. And four. Hey, why did that happen? Four fifths. Hey, maybe I could do this. Okay, four fifths, not forty five. Four fifths is rounded to what? We'll start with these problems together. This time we're gonna do it with 
eight the number of load. So like, let's imagine that number line in or huts. What would be or so this is probably what you are going to be wondering. Use a speech bubble. I us that done yet. Because I'll have to draw one and be cross of that. Okay, I might cover up three and four, but that's okay. Say this is what we're actually not gonna do three and four. This is probably what you should be thinking. I mean like when you're doing these kind of problems, this is what you should be thinking. Say for number one, you're going to be like a coin. Three fifths is more than three thirds, and three thirds is one hail. So what I can say is I'm gonna label this one, and I'm going to name it to zero fifths. Let's do five fifths. That's just five fifths. Equal. Say there's no, there's not, there's no middle point, so we're just gonna do. Well, well let's equal. I'm, I'm just going to cross out the um, the middle point. So th this is where I. Then three fifths. We don't know for sure. Actually, we don't know if we'll be ever sure. Say three fifths. Okay. So I want you, so I want you guys to try your bus one right down to three fifths. Say three. Three. That is where I think three fifths is. So where do you, so where I dray, where do you think it is? This is two fifths away. And from here to four, well, of course, it's three fifths. So I know that five fifths is, is, is a bait. Three fifths. That's what you guys. You. That's what you guys should be thinking when you're doing these mental math problems. Equality. We're actually not brought then. Cool. Let me just erase. Let's. I'm gonna say you in like really. I mean, I'm going to say you saying, "Thank you, guys, boy." 